What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be a cigar made by my father. Now, I know it's been out on the market for just a little while, uh, but it's something I'm definitely uh, trying uh, on a review for you guys the first time. I have had this cigar before, and not to suspend it, the, and not to give any more suspense, but we're going to review the My Father, La Antigua. And this is a Toro. This is a 5.56 by 55 stick and as you can see on this cigar I mean it is a well constructed beautiful cigar uh, it looks uh, like the artwork itself on the band I am just impressed with my father's stuff in general it always looks like stuff that you pull out of a museum painting or something uh, but the wrapper is an Ecuadoran Habano the binder is Crojo and Crillo and the uh, filler is Nicaraguan obviously being all Nicaraguan because it is made by my father in Esteli Nicaragua and I had picked up this st this stick at the owl ear smoke shop and that is in uh, Scottsdale but technically it's on the Salt River Indian Reservation but it is addressed to Scottsdale if you haven't been out there I suggest to take a take a trip out there and look at it uh, they do have uh, some cigars they sell in a convenience store, so don't get that confused. I made that mistake, and I went to the first address that popped up on my Google, and it was actually uh, the little bit of cigars and cigarettes and stuff they sell at a gas station. So I was a little disappointed, and then I realized that they had another location, which is actually the lounge. It's a beautiful lounge, and they have such a great selection. And again, if you're looking for any tobacco products, man, they carry everything. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, again, my, my father, La, Inti La, In La Intiga, uh, is the Toro size. And we'll be right back. All right, everybody, on that pre jar, I am getting a little bit of a milk chocolate profile. Just a hint of maybe a sweet raisin. The draw is phenomenal. Uh, I've never had, and I mark my words, knock on wood. I've never had a bad draw on a My Father cigar. It's always been, uh, once you cut it, it's a great draw. But with that said, as you can see, we're going to keep going into it. Back with the first third right after this. And I have to say, getting that little bit of peppery that's, uh, that's uh, nostalgic, well, I shouldn't say nostalgic, but that is notorious with uh, Esteli and tobacco from Nicaragua. At least in my opinion, I've always noticed the black pepper coming out. I am also noticing a little bit of a sweet hay profile. But there is that chocolatey core, the same as I got on the pre-draw, where you could taste like almost like a milk chocolate. And that is to the core of this cigar. But I mean, I gotta say, this is a great cigar so far. So with that said, we'll keep going through it. I'll be back with the second third right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back for the second third of our review of the My Father, the Antiquidad. And this is the Toro size. And as you can see, it is burning uh, a little uneven. It might be because I'm puffing a little faster than normal. Uh, but those, I didn't indicate at the beginning, it is also a box press cigar. It is a beautiful cigar. Like I said, it is, the strength is increasing as I get through the cigar. It, it, it started out as a medium, a low medium. Now it's getting to a high medium, maybe a, a low full. Uh, but we'll keep going through it, I'll let you know. Uh, but if you are a person who doesn't smoke a lot of full-strength cigars, then you may want to be aware of this, because it might be not something that, to a point in the cigar, you may not stop enjoying what you like. But I like full-strength cigars, so I go for the gusto, and we're going to keep going through it. But like I said, we're starting to notice a little more of the complex spice profile, not so much the black pepper as predominantly, but I am still getting a little hints of those of the dark chocolate 
uh, not the dark chocolate, excuse me, the milk chocolate profile I was getting at the beginning is starting to move back towards the back of the palate. And that sweet raisin is gone uh, that I noticed. But as you can see, great smoke, still great draw. Uh, like I said, the only issue I'm having currently is it's not burning razor sharp, but I am puffing through it a little quickly today. But I do apologize. So definitely think about that when you're smoking a cigar. Uh, make sure you have plenty of time to enjoy the cigar. And, you know, there are questions and comments that have been asked in the past about uh, cigars. Do I leave it in an ashtray, come back to it later? Uh, what's Is that going to change it? It is going to change the profile. Because you got to remember when uh, a cigar goes out and the ash gets cold and you restart it, you're going to have a little bit of an ash profile of like, of, you know, like something that's burnt. So be aware of that. What I would suggest you do, and this is going to be suggested by a lot of cigar guys out there, if you get to a point in a big cigar and you don't want to waste it, don't leave it unattended. Try to let it go out or put it out. Or better yet, I take a straight cutter. Always have a large ring gauge. Now this one here is a 60 ring gauge cutter. It's just a basic cutter you can find at most shops. What I do is I'll come up and I will cut off just above where the where the burn is and take that off. Make sure you do that over an ashtray. Make sure you're using a straight guillotine cutter. Uh, when you have some fancier, smaller size cutters, uh, be aware you could jam them up. I know some of the Zycars that are smaller green gauge, uh, guys have a tendency to do it, then they mess their cutters up because the, cut the cutters aren't designed for that. Uh, but it's a trick that we use, uh, cigar guys use to uh, do that. But large, large ring gauge, cut it just above where where you're burning, and then that way you can ensure you get most of that off, and then you'll have a clean cut. You can put that in a uh, you know a separate Ziploc bag or you know in your humidor. I suggest you put it in a Ziploc bag so that way it doesn't affect all your other cigars. But then you can relight it later and continue to enjoy that cigar. Just a quick tip for that for Cigar 101 information. But with that said, we'll keep going through it and we'll be back with the final third, final thoughts of the My Father right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back to the final third of our review of the My Father. In the final third, we're noticing that the profile is the uh, cigar itself, uh, the profile is getting to a full, full flavored cigar. Uh, the strength is probably a high medium, but all in all, it is a fabulous cigar. And if you haven't tried it, it has been out on the market for a while, so I do suggest to pick it up. Uh, but as you, you could probably find it most places that my father sold. A lot of the cigar shops do carry it, and again, man, it is amazing. In that final third, though, we are getting a little more of a coffee on the back of the profile. Uh, a little bit of a sweetness. The sweetness was gone. It started at the beginning with like maybe a sweet raisin, uh, but then it went to there was no real sweetness through the the second third and almost to the end of the cigar. But it is coming back slightly in the final third. But I ought to say. For a box pressed cigar from Nicaragua, this is definitely a, a pick that you should try. And if you're a fan of my father and haven't had it, then you definitely need to try it. Because as far as I'm concerned, all the lines, all the cigars in the my father line are fabulous. I have yet to have one uh, that I have not liked. And as you can see, that earlier crooked burn is correcting itself. It is a little off. It's not perfect. But that's not going to stop you from enjoying this great cigar. And with that said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, and as always, have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.